Hey you guys, welcome back to my Let's Play Town Hall 8. My name is Klaus and thank you for tuning in. Today we're going to be taking advantage of the Hog Rider event. Guys, I have been three-starring bases left and right with this strategy. It is absolutely incredible. And as you can see, the loot is not bad either. I mean, right now we're sitting on uh, over 800,000 combined golden elixir, 1,800 dark elixir. And the trick to this is so simple that it's almost sad. I mean, you, you really throw the hogs at the base. You heal spell near blank spots and wizards, and you three the base. And you get all the loot, and that's what we're going to be doing today, guys. I've got so much stuff to do on the base. It's not even funny, and it needs to be fixed. I need to fix this base. I want to take Jasper. My This is... This is Jasper to <laughs> Town Hall 9, but I'm not going to do that until we've got a max Town Hall 8 base. And look at this, guys. The final defense drops. We've got at least eight, maybe maybe even up to a dozen hogs left. And they are awesome at cleanup because they don't care about the walls. They they, they skip the walls. So it's awesome. We've also got our king. We've got our wizards doing some cleanup. And we've got a handful of archers as well, guys. So let me go ahead and uh, clean up through the cleanup process. I've got a live raid uh, cooking right now so I'm gonna do a live hog raid and then we're going to skip ahead to a point where I've got loot or unless I find a monster raid I want to show you guys but either way look at that 800,000 like I said combined loot 1800 dark elixir and the cost guys the cost is amazing if we go into the army thing and look at quick train the second to bottom hog event guys 34 hogs six wizards six archers that's it costs 204 dark elixir it also costs 22,000 elixir but with the heal spells that you've got to use it ends up costing about 88,000 elixir which is still very very manageable i love this strategy it is it's amazing so real quick before we get started with our live raid because the army is ready guys the army is prepped and ready to go and i've got my heal spells my second army going as well well, is that I already, I went ahead and started the dragon in the laboratory because I have been using dragons a lot for dark elixir farming. I went ahead and did that because I didn't want to waste the time. And I also started this Tesla going to level five. So that was two upgrades on the base I went ahead and went for. I would love to put the king down. I need an extra 5,000 dark elixir. I should be able to get that really easily because I'm expecting to do a pretty fair amount of boosting today, at least one hour, but maybe more. But either way, guys, let's go out and let's find a raid. I've got my army, my king. I've got a clan castle hogs that guarantees the three, guys. If you have clan castle max hogs, you will three as long as you know how to put down your heal spells. And look at this, guys. Already, we find a base with over 2,000 dark elixir, which is really good, and over 250,000 golden elixir. Let's go ahead and attack this one. I mean, why not? Um, bomb tower is upgrading. That's a good thing. And I'm going to come at this base from the king's side. But the reason for that is not because of the king, but because of those wizard towers. You want to take out those wizard towers as quickly as you can with these hog raids. The level 4 hogs are OP, but they still can get obliterated by those wizards. So I'm going to put down my king there. And it doesn't look like he's going to aggro the enemy kings. Let me put down a few wizards to help out with this. Uh, I don't want to say funnel, but more like sending the king closer to the enemy king. And of course, they'll turn around. They'll get that, uh, that builder's hut. Hopefully, the king decides he wants to go toward my enemy. Come on, man, you moron. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. All right, well, then let's save the king. Let's put down our hogs, put them right at the wizard tower, and also get that arch tower over there. Pop the king's special ability. We'll put a wizard down as well. I've got a handful more archers, or not archers. I've got a handful more hogs, and oh, snap, a dragon in the clan castle. Let's heal. Let's put down our hogs over here. And, uh, oh man. Okay, so I have not ran into a dragon in the clan castle yet. That is a scary thing. Um, let's just watch and see what happens here. I've got one more heal spell. I've got clan castle. Oh, the poison spell killed the dragon. That is awesome. And because some stuff is upgrading, I don't think I'm going to need the third heal spell. I'm all for saving heal spells if I don't need to, right? So I, I only had to use two, which is awesome. So um, we also saved a clan castle because we didn't need that either. So that is awesome. Now the hogs are on this far right and top side. So I'm going to go ahead and put my wizards over here on the left. Uh, I'll put an archer on each of the corner buildings. And uh, that corner building's taken care of. So let's go ahead. All the hogs are kind of on the right. So let's put in all of our cleanup troops on the left side. 
and a giant bomb just kind of mutilated my hogs that was awful but we've got plenty of hogs still left guys and we're gonna grab that three star while saving a heal spell while saving clan castle troops and while saving ourselves from the dragon guys so an awesome three star for us we're able to lock on to a ton of loot like i said over 500,000 golden elixir and over 2100 dark elixir beautiful stuff guys that is a taste of what i'm gonna be doing for the next hour so i'll be back with you guys when i again find a monster raid or max loot or decide i'm done so i'll be back with you guys in a second Whew, guys, I just finished the full hour of raiding. As you can see, I have done attacks 4 minutes ago, 10 minutes ago, 16, 18 minutes ago. And um, I've got 3 stars in every single raid except for one. I attacked a town on 9, a uh, bit off more than I could chew. But still, guys, check out these last two attacks. I'm going to show the one against Mick Dan first. It had a ton of loot. I mean, a lot of loot. But it was a full-fledged... Town Hall 8.5. So it's like a Town Hall 8 that's gone to Town Hall 9. It's got a, a, a Archer Queen level 5. So I sent in my King with a few Wizards to help take out that Archer Queen. And um, I've decided, or I had originally decided that all I was going to aim for was that Golden Elixir on the north. So I just kind of spammed on my hogs. I threw down some heal spells just to keep them alive through half the base. But then I realized, guys, we're going to be able to grab this three star. So I dropped my clan castle hogs down here at the bottom. And I'm able to save a heal spell. I'm able to three star this town hall 9.5 or 8.5, forgive me, and able to grab a ton of of loot guys so the last defense already dropped i think we'll aggro the king here in a minute he kills a few hogs we damage him and then um later on another group of hogs are gonna step up and take him out but i will i'll go ahead and speed up because you guys know the song and dance of hogs i mean you throw the hogs in heal spell take the loot and run home happy and you know sometimes you get to watch bacon it's fun but anyway so tons of loot taken out an 8.5 but the next raid guys was very very impressive watch this the attack against dice guys first of all let's pause the video 887,000 combined golden elixir 2200 dark elixir and it is a dead town hall 10 you guys know there are dead infernos uh there's some dead expos but this is a rushed base i mean i'm not saying i took out a max town hall 10 or something but it was a dead town hall 10 level 10 queen over here level 10 king and just 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 watch guys first of all let me slow it back down use my king take out the enemy queen and then we're gonna start our hog deployment as you can see we targeted the wizard tower first uh taking out the corners you want to make sure you keep your hogs in a fairly tight group and so taking out the defenses on the outside is always a good plan guys and uh so we got a group of hogs i have yet to drop a heal spell because there wasn't anything of huge note in the you know it, around the base obviously there's no giant bombs because it is a dead base drop the heal spell there because i saw the tesla we're coming up on a wizard tower and this king is actually kind of in our range now so i wanted to make sure that the hogs were fully uh, fully full <laughs> their health was full before we got near that king and of course this raid I didn't even have clan castle troops but I did use all my heal spells because it's a town hall 10 so anyway dropping heal spells making sure we take out the wizard towers and all in all honesty guys the only things that really threaten hogs are giant bombs bomb towers and wizard towers now there are situations where point defenses like archer towers teslas and such add up especially when they're skeleton spells and the king in the immediate area now i went ahead and took out that uh arch tower there at the bottom with a few wizards but for the most part guys the hogs did all the work they're gonna spank that barbarian king and drop him and guys we have a handful of hogs a bunch actually and a dead 10 l 10 that's just it just needs to be swept now we just need to sweep that base take out the loot take home the monies and run for the hills and that's that's what we did so yeah pretty awesome speeding up taking out all that loot guys a huge loot grab i think the greatest the biggest loot grab that i had during this boost so 
What is next, guys? I think I'm going to call it a day because, honestly, boosting is exhausting. So I got all the loot. I have 4.4 million gold, 5 million elixir, and 42,000 dark elixir, which is awesome because we did break our record. Or not our record. We broke our goal. We needed to get 35,000. So we have enough to put the king down. I've already opted out of wars. So that is definitely going to be one builder. We've got two more builders available. And so I'm definitely going to put down another Tesla. It's 2.5 million gold. We can go ahead and do that now. Seven day upgrade in three, two, one, bam. Awesome. Okay, so we got two builders left, and I've got 1.9 million gold left. And I think that prioritizing one of these upgrades over here would be a good plan. So we're going to start off because we already did the air defenses. The air defenses are done, the sweeper is done, everything is maxed for tunnel eight. We need to keep going with archer towers i like archer towers because it's point defense keeps the war weight low and targets air and ground so we'll go ahead and start with this one it's 1.5 million gold but first let's collect our treasury the treasury has a few hundred thousand gold which is going to allow us to do one i repeat one wall uh, i really honestly expected more but you know what that is how it is so we did one wall let's throw it down and put this archer tower to actually wait a minute this is nine this one's eight. Let's go ahead and put that one down. Four day upgrade, 1.5 million gold. Three, two, one, bam. Sick. All right, cool. So the next subject of conversation is elixir, guys. You guys can see I'm at 5.3 million elixir now. And um, I've got eight days before my laboratory opens up. So the options that are left is the giant level five, which is probably going to be very, very soon. The goblin level five as well. Um, the balloon is it is OP. We need to upgrade that one very, very soon. The healer, don't really use that much at Town Hall 9. The P.E.K.K.A. is awesome nowadays. Um, the dragon is going right now. The rage spell probably will be the next one, at least the one that I would like to do. But we also got the poison spell, the earthquake spell, and the minion left in the laboratory, guys. So let me know in the comments what you think I should do next. I believe I'm going to go with the rage spell. I might stick... And go, and go for doing the giant. But just let me know your opinions down in the comments. But that just means that because we have no more elixir upgrades left in the base. Every single elixir upgrade is done. That means that we get to hold on to that elixir. We get to maybe give some away for Christmas maybe. It's going to be good. But that means that this last builder is devoted entirely to dark elixir. And getting this barbarian king to its second to last upgrade level at Town Hall 8 level nine so let's get this thing going 40 upgrade two wars is all i'm gonna miss that's no big deal in three two one <gasps> boom oh my goodness that is that's awesome all right guys so the barbarian king is down level nine in four days hopefully by then we can farm up enough to put him down to level 10 and they'll be done for dark elixir and we can have some fun with some fun armies it's gonna be a lot of fun <laughs> um the the main focus for the rest of this playthrough besides obviously keeping our laboratory busy and finishing up the king is going to be gold farming that is done in multiple ways guys so it's gonna be a lot of fun also i would like to try to do a trophy push so be looking forward to that it will be in a separate series a town hall 8 trophy pushing series that we're gonna attempt i believe to go to champion league so let me know that you like that as well in the comments like the video if you liked this and subscribe if you haven't joined the class family and as always i'll see you guys again next time